Hey, YouTube people, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about an essential product that I think a lot of people use in this hobby, and that is Seachem Prime. Just like other water conditioners we've talked about on this channel, you're basically going to be adding this anytime you do a water change to your tank or you're doing a top off in your tank and you need to get rid of those pesky chlorines and chloramines floating around in your water. Now, similar to other products that we've talked about, this does also help detoxify ammonia, nitrite, and nitrates if you need to use it for that. Now, this is also one of the few water conditioners that's so super concentrated. Now, why does it matter that it's super concentrated? Well, when it, you go to dose it to your water, you're going to end up needing less than some other products you might be looking at using. So for this, you're going to only need five milliliters for a 50 gallon tank, which is one capful or one milliliter per 10 gallons of water. Now, that's as much math as I'm doing for y'all, because now we're going to get into like fractions and decimal points. And I, I don't like either one of those. So you can do the rest of the math on your own or just go on Zchem's website, look up Prime, and they have dosing down to, I believe, one gallon. And it ends up being drops or like point something milliliters. So small numbers. Now you can use up to five times the recommended dose when you're helping to detoxify or if you're doing a massive water change. And for whatever reason, your water company decided to jack up your chlorine levels and you just need a lot more in there than you normally would. So if it's springtime and your water company's flushing the system, you might notice your chlorine's going to come out. Your water might come out smelling like chlorine. If you're dosing a 10 gallon tank, you want to throw a whole cap full of this in? Seachem says it's okay to do that. And that way you don't have to worry about the chlorine killing your fish. I've heard horror stories about people doing water changes and the chlorine levels are high in their water and they didn't realize it and their fish just died off. So you can have that little safety net where you can go up to five times the dosage if you're worried about that. And of course, when you're detoxifying, you can use more as well. Now, detoxifying means that it's going to make these harmful elements of your water less toxic for the fish, which basically just means that they're still swimming around in not so clean water, but it just makes it a little easier for them to breathe the water in. Now, that would be like if we're on another, you know, say planet and the atmosphere is slightly different than ours, you may be able to breathe it, but it's not going to be as easy on our systems. So it just makes it a little easier for your fish to live in this water. So what I would do is if you need to use this, I would not rely on this to help detoxify your water. It was simple enough to just do a water change. But that's my own opinion when it comes to that. I know a lot of people, including myself, will throw this in water when they're bagging up fish. It just is going to help when shipping fish because you can't be changing the water with shipping fish unless you're like got a chain of people that it's going to be shipped to and then they're going to change the water and then those people are going to ship it again and it goes through a chain. Trans shippers will do that. They'll get a fish in and change the water. But most people aren't going to do that. They're going to pack the fish up, add a little prime, box it up, send it off priority or overnight, and the fish is just going to go to whoever they're getting shipped to. So a lot of people do add this to their water when they're bagging fish up just to make it safer on the fish if there's any waste in the bag. Now, Honestly, the only two negatives that I have about Prime is one, the lid doesn't have an easy measure on it. They only say you can go up to five milliliters. They don't specify if each line is a milliliter. Other products have the little cup that comes with it on top where you can easily measure out one milliliter, five and ten. So that's one little cork. And then, you know, the fact that it smells like sulfur or rotten eggs. Those are the only two things that I have to say that are negative about Prime. Uh, which are just, you know, cosmetic things. It's not really going to affect the product at all. One thing is you do have to shake it before you use it because it does get some separation and some, you know, it almost looks like graphite kind of settles on the bottom. So you got to shake it up before you add it to your tank. As always, thank you all so much for watching the video. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if Prime is your go to water conditioner to help with water changes and detoxifying. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.